all righty so uh, here we are again uh, one of my friends asked me how we could make a hovercraft right so um, the question I asked myself is how I can do it without having to do a lot of extra work or without having to make a totally new blueprint class altogether so the easiest way I could think of is is just to hide the wheels <laughs> and there we have it we have a hovercraft I of course I just did some minor adjustment to the suspension system and all that so that it behaves like a normal hovercraft you know like those wobbly movement and all that and just to make the suspension a bit longer and a bit smoother uh, based on some parameters of course and uh, there we have it so if I play this scene now let's see what happens and there you go then you will see the suspension works fine of course the wheels are there but they are just hidden but it looks totally awesome just like a normal hovercraft would do and then if we look back we will see a bunch of hovercrafts heading towards me so i just of course i just spawned a bunch of these on the scene and then we can see see them looking totally awesome and and cool I did notice one thing there are many occasions where they would just uh, spin out of control and start rolling uh, I hope I can get one of those uh, weird movements or those weird crashes um, okay yeah maybe this guy uh, yeah there you go right so this is a very weird behavior but I think I know how to fix it so that guy is going totally out of control uncontrollable spins um, I think it has something to do with the with the center of gravity and some dampening effects that we can um, we can implement uh, you see that that's still going out of control all right so what we're gonna do is I'm going to open up my hovercraft uh, so you see uh, those wheels are there right so those wheels are there but I have just hidden them so if you look below they are not visible uh, and also hidden in game All right of course you see the wheels are there but I've just hidden it in game so that they just they just work fine as they should all right so if we get a reference to our car body mesh right so what we're going to do is we'll say uh, set um, angular damping so linear damping is um, your forward and backward movement like in the straight line but angular damping is where you want to control or you want to imp uh, implement a force that will protect against um, a lot of angular movements so this is the rate of damping that you want to put maybe I'll just try five five is quite a strong force so it's basically what going to do is it's going to uh, implement that uh, damping force on against the angular movement in other words so that the cars won't go out of control so easily let's see how this looks now so I just go toward that scene a little bit I can already see they are trying to move in a straighter line because previously uh, with just minor angle on the ground I could see them turning left and right yeah now it looks looks much much better awesome yeah I don't see anybody tumbling now let's give it one more go play totally awesome yeah you see that guy that guy got hit but it it manages to control its roll or tumble uh, you see that blue one also it totally crashed but it didn't flip over uh, now it's sitting on top of it and there you go <laughs> totally awesome man I love it okay so just one more time 
we'll go back and I'm going to put it as zero, right? So it's it's like no no anti rotation or anti angular movement force right now. And if you see the behavior now, you will see those cars or those hovercraft turning very easily, right and left. We can already see that green guy and this guy moving to the that side, depending on the on the depending on the angle of or rather angle of the ground you see this guy started to tumble a bit and that guy is totally out of control standing vertical up and you see now everybody is going in a separate direction because because of those uh, because of the terrain that we have um, it basically moves here and there all right so one last time maybe we'll give it a little less force not a lot so this is something that you can of course promote to a variable and then have it controlled for every instance depending on what you want to do so maybe you have some upgrades that that protects your vehicle against angular movement or anti-flip and now you can see that most of the cars are basically running in a in the similar direction not going left and right and yeah and no matter where it goes they will just fly straight without flipping over awesome I love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there comes our spawn yeah it's indeed trying to maintain a straight line now all right awesome so the next I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna make a video uh, where where we can um, uh, see how this uh, blueprint is set up and how the various components works together and all that stuff and um, hopefully you find it interesting. Thank you guys. Bye.